Welcome to the wonderful world of ArtStore. To find the databases from off campus, go to www.colin.edu. Click on the Cougar Web icon and enter your Cougar Web username and password. This is your first initial and last name with an assigned number and your password is the last six digits of your campus-wide ID number. Click on the Library tab at the top of the page. In the middle section of the library homepage under Sources for Papers and Projects, click on Find Articles, Journals, Magazines, Newspapers, etc. Click on the letter A or the Arts, Music, and Humanities link. The databases are listed in alphabetical order by title and by subject category. So if you clicked on the letter A, you may have to scroll up or down just a bit to find ArtStore. Click on the Go button. You may use ArtStore without registering, but if you wish to build and save a group of images, you must first register with an email address and choose a password. Once you register, don't forget to log in each time you access ArtStore, so you will be able to find your image groups. After you log in, you'll see the Welcome to ArtStore sign, and below it is a Folders and Image Group icon. Click the Open button if you wish to reopen a group you've already established. If you've already created an image group, it will appear here and you may reopen it. Just click on the name of your group and click the Open button at the bottom of the page. I'm going to search for images by the artist Andy Warhol so I type his name in, last name, comma, first name, and leave the default to All Collections. It is not necessary to capitalize names in ArtStore. My search results in 431 images by or about Warhol. Just a word of caution here, as ArtStore brings up every image in which Andy or Warhol is mentioned in the information section, so make sure the image you're viewing is actually by the artist you're looking for. I'm on page 1 of 18, and I have the option to scroll forward or back using the arrows located to the right and left of the page box. There are a few images on this first page I want to put in my Warhol image group. To select an image, simply click on it and it highlights in brown. To deselect it, just click on it again and the highlight box goes away. After you've selected your images, click on the Organize link at the top toolbar. You now have a choice to create a new group or save them to an existing group. I want to make a new group, so I select Save Selected Images to New Image Group. This opens a new page asking you to select a folder in which to save your images. Unless you have instructor privileges, select the default which is called My Work Folder. I'm starting a new group, so I give it the name Warhol. Notice you have three choices. You can append images to existing group if you already have a group and want to add to it. You can create a new group or overwrite images in existing group to replace images already in a group. The Dallas Museum of Art has over 1,500 digitized images in the Art Store collection, and I want to see how many of a particular artist's paintings might be there. To do this, I go back to the Art Store search page. Under All Collections, scroll down and find the Dallas Museum of Art. 
Click the plus icon in front of the Dallas Museum of Art collection to open up the collection's submenu. I only want to see the paintings housed there, so I click on Painting. I choose Search within this category and type in Monet because I happen to know there is currently only one of Warhol's works in the Dallas Museum of Art. Now my search results bring up all of Monet's works that are currently housed at the Dallas Museum of Art. I see a few more images I would like to add to my group, so I click on them and highlight each one. This time, instead of saving to a new group, I choose Save to Existing Image Group. To make sure that all the images are by the specific artist you're looking for, you can do an advanced search and type the artist's last name and if it's a common last name, include the first name as well. And also choose In Creator Only in the drop-down box to the right of the name. Notice this took me out of searching the Dallas Museum of Art, but I now have 799 results, and they should all be by Monet himself. This time, instead of saving to a new group, I choose Save to Existing Image Group. Select My Work Folder and Append Image to Existing Group. Select your group and choose Save and Open. The Art Store toolbar has a number of very useful features. You may magnify, reduce, or rotate any image. The I button gives you the information about the image. Next to it, on the right, is the full-size image icon. You may also scroll back or forward. On the right side of the page are the Print, Save, and Save to a Group or Existing Group icons. Click the I icon and the square with the diagonal arrow to see this view. To save your image, click the icon that looks like an old floppy disk. You must accept Art Store's terms and conditions of use. You may use these images only for educational purposes, not for your personal website or for profit. If you should happen to see this warning, just click Run. The easiest way to save an image from Art Store is to first save it to the desktop. You will see two files on the desktop. The first is a JPEG of your image, and the second is an HTML file with the information about your image. To change the file name, right-click on the name Art Store automatically gave the image and choose Rename. A new feature in Art Store is the ability to download it to your iPad, iPod, or iPhone. This concludes the Art Store tutorial, but please check the Help section on the Art Store database for further instructions. Our store is a wonderful database with many additional features. You may upload your personal images through the offline image viewer, create a slideshow for a class presentation, add personal notes to each image in your group to help with your presentation, and much, much more. Art Store has a wonderful help section. You can browse through the most asked questions Art Store users ask or type in a search terms. There are also numerous handouts, subject guides, and tutorials. The next few slides show just a few of the many subject categories available in the database. Notice the wonderful quality of the images in the database as well. Please remember, if you use any of the images from Art Store for a paper 
or presentation, you must also give credit to the original artist or author. Here are two examples of how to cite both a book and an image from the Art Store database. Note these examples are in the MLA format. If you need more help with your citations, I suggest you try the EasyBib website. Just go to www.easybib.com. You can register on the website and actually save your citations on that server. Thank you for watching and please enjoy Art Store.